Okay, Mom. He's examining the gate. Now, if you want to see, I didn't realize, you're going to laugh, there's a rung missing on this section and on this section, but I used your plunger to mimic a rung because he could clearly fit through there and I wouldn't put him past him to try to fit through and then just go, go up the steps. So that's there. He shouldn't knock this over. I secured it over here in between your wrought iron. So I think we're good. He was delight. He was upstairs. He did. He did travel all the way upstairs. Look at your mama. So I'm gonna upload this to YouTube so you can see. It's too much to text. So it's tacky. There's a plunger, but your dog is safe. So that's what is important for me. And over here, you know, this is actually an X pen. So what you want, you don't want to fold it flat because it's very heavy and if it fell backwards and fell on him. So I've got it, you know, as you can see, it's kind of like jagged here so it has a little more stability. So I got them out of Deb's closet. I knew she had them, so I'm sure that uh, you could borrow them until she gets a new puppy and uh, figure out. I'll look on Chewy.com and see if I can find a couple that are nice because you don't really need big, huge, wide ones. So um, he's doing great. Uh, I'm going to leave him uh, run of the house. There is no cat puke in the cat room. Um, he does have a little bit of food and water over there. Look at him. Look at him. Check this out. He's like, oh, well, well when you leave, I want to go upstairs. Sorry, pal. I know it's a drag to sit here. But... Uh, See, he, I mean, he kind of eyeballed that one, but I don't think he would fit through that. You know, that one's got a space in it. So, But anyway, have a blessed day, and I will return around 5 p.m. So, um, okay, sweetie, love you. Bye-bye.